up to you basically it, you, you just play with it until you get it right um, I'm trying to um, trying to get a very smooth finish um, that when the clip finishes my music finishes with it without having a hearing a sharp cut uh, slowly fades away so let me just play with this a little bit and um, we can after that we can move to the uh, visual effects and add some lighting to um, our footage and hopefully that'll be it just putting the sound effect back into place it moved a little bit you've got to be careful with these things because it they sometimes jump from left to right so before you convert and export your video make sure everything is in place yeah that's okay now so i'm going to snap back this music into place and make it in, in line with the rest of the footage and the adjustment layer okay that's good right so we are um, now we are going to add some um, lighting effects to this and hopefully that will be the last thing we do to it I've got some um, blue bouquet different versions here so I've got about four or five of them and I'm going to drag and drop the first one and to see how it looks you want this clip to be on top of your adjustment layer and you also want to make sure that everything below it is also visible so you click on it and move to effects and control and go down to screen and turn normal to screen so you can see that the um, the footage below is now visible but what I don't like about this is the sharpness around the edges of the light so I want to give it a little bit of blur um, therefore we go to effects uh, type in blur scroll down to fast blur drag and drop it on the section here that is highlighted in white so in your control you can see that the fast blur section has been added now I'm going to turn that up and down so you can see the, the difference that it makes to this I'm going to increase it by 50% not too much just 50% and leave it at that okay okay that's much better now so you don't have any sharp edges there I mean it's kind of blurry and that's the way I want it so I'm going to add another one blue bouquet two and I will be making the same adjustments to that as well so I'm just going to drag and drop it next to the number one and I'm going to do exactly the same things to it so one way of doing this is to copy the first one click on the second one uh, click on paste attributes and click OK and don't forget that to turn the normal into screen the blurriness of 50% that you have on the first one is going to be transferred onto the second one at exactly the same amount along with any other adjustments that you made to it so that you can make sure that you've got consistency there and I'm going to add um, bouquet number four and I also do the same thing to this as well so I have three different sections here that they have exactly the same um, effects on them again don't forget to turn that from normal to screen okay 
Now you want to cover the rest of the uh, timeline, so I'm going to highlight these three. Click Alt, hold, and drag to the left and drop it there. So you have six sections and six and a half sections that they are all consistent and they have the same effects on them. And click on them one by one, make sure that they are all changed from normal to screen. That's it. Now the last thing that we need to do is to add our logo. Um, I Earlier I made a little logo for Sony and um, I'm going to, I added the music to it as well and uh, converted it into an MP4. So I'm going to drag and drop it right to the end of the clip. And hopefully that will take us into just a little bit over one minute that we wanted. So let's go back to our project. Let's go to the logos folder and click on the Sony logo, drag and drop it there. And that's it. Now you press O to um, close your timeline. You need to turn them into a nested sequence. And that is how it's going to look like. Now you highlight the whole thing and go to Files, Export, Media. And you've got two options here, Q and Export. I always choose Q because that way it lets me to, uh, it actually lets me um, to carry on with uh, my other projects while it's converting. Because sometimes if you are doing a long clip, a 20 minutes or a one hour one, it could take a long time to convert. Uh, so you don't want to just be sitting there and waiting for it to finish its thing you want to get on with your other work and this is the best option to click the queue so you choose a file name and use the uh, high bitrate and save your project um, while the media encoder is converting your project you can actually close the premiere pro you don't need to have it open um, it could make your computer work a little bit faster. You can have it open if you want, but you don't need to. Um, and you just wait for the uh, media encoder to finish its conversion and your clip is ready. I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial. Uh, please let me know if you need any other tutorial on anything on Premiere Pro, Photoshop or Lightroom. And don't forget to leave your comments and your feedbacks below. Thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much for watching this video and tutorial and see you soon.